Obama, I had to. 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 Welcome to the office. Welcome. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> Welcome to the office. So you guys are coming from Washington. Washington State, yes. And you said she was a professor for many, many years, right? Yes. She's retired now? It's been several years she's retired. Okay. Now talk about what are you guys doing here? Because you came in, she's got a lot of pain, she's using a walker. What happened? Yes, it's, she is experiencing the, this pain. It's been three years. And, uh, you want to sit next to her there? So okay. Can, I don't hurt my neck. For sure. <laughs> so yeah, it's been several, uh, like three years. Uh, oh, three she's, years? Yes, since uh, July or April of 2021. Okay. And since that time, she is having this What pain. happened? Nothing. She just woke up. Exactly. And a half Ah. Suddenly, she will start like feeling the pain in her right leg. Start like around the knee, but with the time, it was shooting up and down. Okay, um, from the knee up and down. Yes. Right side mainly. Yes, only the right side. Okay. Okay. And we start with her primary doctor. Mm -hmm. He did some X-rays, MRIs, and after that, he referred her like to some specialties, orthopedics, and she starts seeing a lot of specialties. They what do they all say? Uh, some some of the doctors they are saying just like arthritis, the age, but they couldn't explain what's the reason. So pain without any solution or without any like not the medications they gave. They her. didn't talk about inflammation. They didn't talk about nerve pressure. They didn't talk about any of this. With the time, with the time, we saw different like we saw a, a neurosurgeon, we saw a back surgeon. So he. They did MRI, CT. Yes. Nothing in her brain. No. Everything's so, clear? So they did from the back down, like not the brain, which is like the last, very last doctor. He, he was, uh, he did a nerve conduction test. Yes. He said maybe, because when he tested her leg, all the nerves, they are wonderful. So the NCV was normal. Exactly. So there was no diminished, an NCV is called a nerve conduction velocity test. Exactly, yeah. And we're measuring the signals and the speed of the current of the, of the nerve. Right. And that was fine. Completely cool. fine, yeah. And he said maybe she need like a study for her brain, maybe the communication between her lower back is not correctly connected to her brain. Huh. So this is not just like um, an idea that he suggested. We told him how we can test that. He said, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, and after that she, she did like knee injections, steroid, hy hyaluronic. If the knee is the problem, they should give like some relief. She got zero relief, like mm. not for a day even. Mm. She did uh, burning uh, the nerve. They burned the nerve in her knee. Which nerve? The knee. Like the tegmental, something like that. There's two. Tibial? Yeah. Uh, Peroneal. Uh, I don't remember. I think I have the name. They of burned it. the nerve at the knee or the back? The knee. Uh, they did epidural injection uh, to the back. They did the steroid injection. So. Oh, my leg. Right. Oh. So, the pain is just in her right side. Up and down. Uh, her back is not hurting her. Uh, even when we saw the, the neurosurgeon, he said, I can perform a surgery, but this is not going to be a guarantee that will take out the pain. Off. Correct. So, and we saw also a foot doctor uh, because she experienced also pain in her ankle. Um, also, he said there is like a longitudinal tear, but he said some people, they have it their entire life, but they don't know because it is... There is no tear in the ACL or, or, uh, or PCL, right? There is a tear Where? in the ACL. There is? Yes. In the Mild? Case. Grade 1? Uh, I don't know. They didn't share with me. But they told me like we're not going to do any like cleaning the ACL or cleaning the meniscus. Mm. Uh, but what we can do like a knee replacement. But again, if they're going to do their knee replacement, it's not going to help with the pain because this is maybe a nerve issue. Okay. So how'd you get here then? So uh, my sister, she is like... <laughs> She's smiling. <laughs> yeah, she saw your videos online and... Your sister? Yes. Okay. And uh, when my mom, she started like 
having this pain and no answer we tried like looking online and it's been several years we are watching your videos my mom she tried like everything local but after that she said maybe dr rahim gonna be like the solution or the answer for her pain um because she tried everything injection even she was taking like tramadol oxycodone hydrocodone what is she on right now uh, 51 injection for my the, uh, right they, now she's taking anything no she she took it like more for more than eight months but after that they told her like since you are not getting any improvement or at least like reducing of the pain so what is the point of it but there is something that was really concerning or surprising when she went to the foot and ankle doctor, he said, let me do an x-ray. He, he saw no fracture. But after that, he said, let's do an MRI when he found out the longitudinal tear. What longitudinal tear? A tear in the ankle. This is what they told us. Okay. Yeah, but as I told you, like the doctor, he said it is asymptomatic. Many people, they can have it, but it is not Wear sure. and tear. It's wear and tear exactly, in the body. Exactly, yeah. Because you said there was no injury. No injury, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. But what he did, he said, let me see if this is like the issue or is what contributing to all that. Mm -hmm. He injected her with lidocaine mm -hmm. just to make sure if this is like the correct place or the origin of the pain. Once he injected, he, he told us it's going to like maybe it will be staying for 30 minutes, like the, um, the effect of it. So once he injected her, she was able to walk without any pain and without the cane at all. For 30 minutes? For 30 minutes and gradually it started like vanishing. So after that, he said I can inject her with the steroid. He injected that, but it didn't help, like not the pain at all. So I don't know if this is like the nerve issue, if there is a benching nerve in her back is what contributing to all of that because something happened suddenly and not going away even okay. with a strong pain I got it. I got it. All right. Well, we got some stuff to talk about. Okay. All right. And uh, I'm going to go over your x-rays first. Okay. We didn't take ankle and foot x-rays. Mm -hmm. If I need to take them, I'm not going to start there anyway today. Mm -hmm. I'm starting and ruling out the spine. You've watched my videos. You know how I work. Yes. Um, we do extremities. We do all that. But everything starts in the foundation. Right. And we have to make sure we have a level base and foundation, number mm -hmm. one, and the nerves going down to the foot. I've seen cases like this coming from the neck. Mm -hmm. I don't know until I examine you, okay? Okay. But I do want to go over the x-rays. She did have some old injuries. I'm just letting you know. I'm mm -hmm. going to, I'll show you. It's okay. what it is. Yeah. But I don't, you said she didn't have any recent injuries. Not recent and not in the back, like when she, Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Now, we still need to figure out nerve coming from the back going down. Yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's part one. Okay. Part two is she has a lot of inflammation in her body. Mm -hmm. But we're going to talk about how to get the inflammation out of the body. Okay. Number three, mm -hmm. she got to change her diet. Okay. There's no ends of survival. Yeah. We've got to get her walking again. Mm -hmm. We have a pedal machine here in uh, the waiting room. I'll have you guys use it while you're here. Okay. So at least I know she can get her movement. Mm -hmm. She has to get movement. Uh, we already brought her like a bicycle. Oh, you so got it. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay, and she cool. is doing that okay, like nice. most. That's a right angle. Yeah, but she sits like on a, a chair b yep. behind. Perfect. The yeah. Okay, so you have that. Yes. Perfect. Okay. So we can her. So let's do this. We're going to go over your x rays. I'm going to explain what I see. Okay. Then we're going to examine you, and then we're going to figure out where we're going to start today. Okay. I've got a, I got a, I got a little time with you. Okay. You're here for a little bit. Yes. And let's figure out what we're going to do and go from there. Along the way, if you have questions, you ask. Okay. If you're uncomfortable with anything, tell me to stop. Okay. I'm going to scope her, so we're going to need to expose the back and everything. You're up, right? Okay. Okay? Yes. Yalla. This is you. This is a picture in time. It tells us how you've evolved from birth. We have 24 bones in the spine that move, 23 discs in between. This is the foundation of your 24-story building. So, we said we need a level base and foundation, right? In order to have a stable building. Yeah. She's complaining of her right leg. Mm -hmm. Now, there's a couple of things going on here. Then. So, let's talk about the foundation first. Okay. 
And we said, do we have a level base and foundation? No, we do not. We have a cut. We have a rotated sacrum on the right. We have a rotated pelvis. We have a short leg on the left. Mm -hmm. Follow my process right now, okay? Now, the way the pelvis works, it works in opposite. One goes up, other goes down. One goes in, the other goes out. I'm going to reference the right side because the right side has both the rotated sacrum and pelvis. So this is her right SI joint. The right pelvis goes up one and then it turns in on the back side. Mm -hmm. The sacrum goes back with it. Mm -hmm. So the overall effect is that this right leg, the pelvis, goes like this. Okay. So it's offset, it's off balance. Mm -hmm. The femur sits in the groove, right? Yeah. In the acetabulum. If it's supposed to sit like this, and if this thing is rotated like this, mm -hmm. what does it do to the angle of the hip and the knee? Changes the mechanics. Sure. So just like at the gym, you know the, the pulleys and the cables? Mm -hmm. If the pulley is out of alignment, what happens to the cables? Mm -hmm. They don't work right. right. So the ligaments and tendons and muscles are those cables. The pulley is the joint. Okay. That's why we start in the back. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So, number one is we have that scenario. But number two, we have a short leg on the left. Now, in this work, what Dr. Gonstead found, the work this was based on, as long as the leg length discrepancy is under seven millimeters, adjustments will hold. And now here's the good news. Mm -hmm. Adjusting the pelvis, we can potentially get the 8 millimeter to 5. And we have to be able to do that for any of this to hold. That's part of why nothing was working. Now, let's follow it up. So the short leg on the left causes a curve here. Okay. Yes? Yes. Kinks over here to the right. Comes back over here to the left. Okay. Now we go to the side. Now this is where the fun starts. When we're looking at the low back, and this is kind of important, these discs should be level and parallel, okay? So they're all angled. That's okay, but I want you to see this. This is her tailbone. She had an old, here we go, an old S5 injury on her, on her butt. And I'll show you right there. That's the old injury, S5. That's number one. Number two, we have an injury at L5. L5, the shape of the disc tells me that's about 25 years ago. Okay, yeah. something happened, started this 25 years ago. But here's the other thing. This is a spondy. This is the back here of L5. This is the back of L3. Do you see this one? has gone yeah. forward. Do you see that? Yes. And that knee pain can be coming from here, from here. That spondy needs to be worked on, okay? Mm -hmm. As long as I find pressure there, not just because it's on an x-ray, yeah. okay? But then look here, this thing is tilting back also. Five, four, three, two, let's continue. One is tilting back. It's like a stair-stepping effect because of the instability, okay? But where do we start? We have to start at the bottom. Okay. Okay? Now, as you work your way up, these are fine. These are good. These discs are good. She had the old whiplash. You can see the shape of these bones are very small compared to the rest of them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, but her discs are good. That's her good news. Okay. okay? If there's something there, I'll deal with it. Mm -hmm. Okay? Obviously, we're checking the whole spine. Right. Now, does that make sense so far? Yes. So her issue is her foundation, and we got to figure out all this lumbar sacrum. I'm pretty sure we do something good here. Okay. She's going to yell at me. Okay. This is going to be spicy. We try to say in Spicy. <laughs> spicy achar. She has low bone density as well, yeah. and she has digestion issues. So the way I see this case mm -hmm. first is not a knee case. Right. The way I see this case first is a foundation, number mm -hmm. one. Yeah. 
Yes. Number two is digestion because of the inflammation in her body that's causing her pain. Okay. Okay? Yes. All the other stuff is secondary for me because mm -hmm. we have a short period of time. Yes. Even though we have seven to ten days, it's mm -hmm. still short for the amount of stuff. So let's see what we can do in this time period. Okay? okay? And just note there's going to be a little bit of soreness, mm -hmm. going to be a little spicy. Okay. okay sure. Now I'm gonna just lift here. Okay, you can keep it on. It's fine. Just but we have to lift it up. Okay, that's where I hear And she's okay, right? Yes. Okay. Where's Dad? Home. <laughs> Dad, you smart. <laughs> Let them go. <laughs> just you two came. Yes. Okay. And your sister? This is also with my dad. He's dead there. Starting at the base of the neck. First thing we're getting, it looked like it was going to break there, but it's down low, T6. She has a lot of faith to come down here, dude. Number three. L3 to the knee. L3 to the knee. But it's all starting down in the low, low. Cock 6, S5, L3, T6. I'll check her pelvis in a minute. I'm just going to lift up. Is that okay? Yes. It's okay? Yes. Well, I have to. So. Yeah. <laughs> And the base of the neck, five points. Up top is good for now. Okay, let's check. Right joint, come back slowly towards me, back. Top of the joint, middle of the joint, bottom. Pain? Pain at the bottom, pain at the top. I know it all hurts, but which one is more? Yeah, yes. Yeah, this one or this one? The top. Okay. Left side. This one on the top. This one on the bottom. Not really. Bottom, little bit. Okay. Come back slowly. Number number five. Hold on. Five. That's one. Mm -hmm. That's two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hold on. That's three. I have three. That's four. But one. this is the one I see on the x ray. Yes. Yeah, that's the worst. Okay. Number six or number five? I know how. Six or five. Again? Six or five? Five? Yeah, it, it bottom this one. one, bottom six. Six, S5, right pelvis. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm finding. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Now, is she okay to lie on her back so I can check her foot and knee? Okay. Lie down on her back. Bend one foot. It'll be easier. Bend this foot. Okay. Okay. Give her a minute. Ah. <laughs> Hopefully it's going to be the solution in your hands. No pressure, eh? <laughs> no pressure. Okay, I want you to push your toe, bring your toes up. And now I want her to push into my hand down. Can you do the breakout? No pain when she does that. Good. So she's got the power there. Now, I want you to go up. 
She can feel the pain in her head. When she comes up. Yes. Do it again. Martillah, Rajid, Fri, Rajid, Fri, Fog. Where is Adam? There. There's your answer. Tibial anterior. That's L4. L5. That's the spine. Yeah. But I can't touch that until I fix the bottom. Sure. Make sense? Yeah. Alright, So we're gonna do S5 coccyx, we're gonna torque it up on the here's the challenge. I'm gonna be on the right side, but I gotta torque it up and gentle. <clears throat> It's a complicated case, guys. If you torque too much, you end up doing like a BP, which will disrupt the spondy. Now, for her, I'm going to use the board. So the sound is going to be the board. It's going to sound loud. And I'm doing that so it absorbs the force so she doesn't feel as much pain in the adjustment. There we go. So we got to torque that way. That way. I had to. Sorry, Mama. I had to. 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 That was it. That was it. I got it. You can yell, scream, don't, please don't worry, okay? Whatever, don't worry about it. Noise. Home run, baby. Okay, let's get her down. I'm giving her a minute. That was deep. It was really deep. She did. A, she did very good. She took the adjustment very nicely. Give her a second. Okay, and what I want her to do yes. is take the walker and walk with the walker a little bit, please. Okay. That's enough. Now just come back over there. Take your time. Now, I want her to go on her back because okay. we need to test that foot again. Sure. Okay, And the reason I'm doing it again this way, so we have the before after, no different variable because the leg was straight when we did it, okay? Yes. Go on your back, please. <coughs> Take your time. Bend this, bend this. Bend. Oh. Bend this. Good. Now, push. Defri. Stronger. Pull. Sehbili fog. Aku alam hasse. Lo akal lo khtilat. No pain. Great. No pain. Ya Rab. Ya. Ya ilahi wa tajwa. Ya Rab. That's where we're going to start. Okay. I'm going to work a little on the ankles for her. It's not going to affect anything. Though. So whenever there's a, t a sprain, a sprain versus a strain. Uh -huh. Sprain means ligament, strain means muscle. Okay. In a sprain, and then there's the tear. 
right? Mm -hmm. Grade one, two, three, mild, moderate, severe. Severe grade three, surgical case, that's not her case. Mm -hmm. Grade two can go either way. Grade one, mild, it needs to heal. But here's how I want you to think about it. Let's say the bones are like this, ligaments are holding it, yeah. and we have a misalignment mm -hmm. from a tear. Yes. If we don't put the bone in opposition, it doesn't heal properly. Can you grab her a tissue, please? Yeah. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm putting the bones in better opposition mm -hmm. so that they can the ligaments can heal better. Okay? Oh, and the knee. Then. It's knee That's it. Now push. The three. Pull. Different folk. Nice. Different? I cooked it up? Yes. Oh, sorry, George. And she's saying I still feel some pain in the knee, but we are not. We're talking about the hip right now. Okay. the field you remember what this felt like look come back slowly right. five one two three four this is the one I did different yeah Joa means what like the the lower the button Joa Joa This is four, remember? Five, one, two, three, four. This is the one I did. Okay. Five. But better than before. Come back slowly. Come on, come on, look. Yes. That's it. <laughs> so her homework is the pedaling, icing, and I'll give her some stuff for inflammation to start taking, okay? Use my hand. That's the knee though, not, yes, not the, the foot. Mm. Not the hip, not the foot. Mool rajil wala al hook. Yeah, it's the knee. Cool. Not cool, but cool, it's not yeah. the foot and the hip. Right. Okay, let's leave it at that. Make sure she's icing as I said. I'm gonna give her some stuff for the inflammation. Okay. We'll take the knee x ray. If you have any report stuff, just send it to us. I'll take a look. Okay. And we'll do the knee x rays either tomorrow or Saturday. We have work to do there right now. Okay. okay, I don't want to rush and start banging on her knee. Yes. Got it? Okay. Okay. Uh, baby, welcome to LA. Allah is <laughs> <laughs>